Even if you've never seen his paintings, you will have heard of Vincent van Gogh. The Dutch artist, who was born 170 years ago, is considered one of the most original and creative artists of his time. Now, more than 300 sketches, drawings and paintings have been reproduced to give insight into an artist some called a genius. I'm Arthur Sim, arts correspondent for The Straits Times. This is Van Gogh, The Immersive Experience. Immersed in this 360-degree digital projection, it's almost like being in the mind of the artist himself. It gives a sense of what the artist wanted to achieve with each painting. There is rhythm in the bold brushstrokes that suggest the energy in nature. The use of intense contrasting colors makes the works vibrate with life. Van Gogh only became respected as an artist after his death at the age of 37. Two years before, he famously cut off an ear after an argument with fellow artist Paul Gauguin. Suffering from depression for most of his life, he is often cast as the misunderstood and tortured artist. This exhibition also emphasizes the influence of Japanese art and culture, which was very popular in late 19th century Europe. When he lived in Paris in the 1880s, he was particularly taken with the Japanese woodblock prints known as ikioe. In 1887, he painted this Japanese courtesan based on a woodblock print by the Japanese master Keisai Eisen. It also marked a departure from his earlier sombre work. A year later, he moved to Arles in the south of France to find his own utopia. Most of Van Gogh's masterpieces were painted in the last few years of his life when he lived in Arles. In the French countryside, he lived in very austere conditions, which exacerbated his already poor health. But in Arles, with its special quality of light and wide expanses of wheat fields, his work began to take on new color and dynamism. During this short period, he painted his famous landscapes, still lives, and portraits. In 1890, he died of a gunshot wound that was probably self-inflicted. While this exhibition reveals much about Van Gogh's art, it should be noted that there are no original paintings here. It's not meant to be a conventional museum experience. Much of it is done with new technology that would have been undreamed of a hundred years ago. What is interesting is that Van Gogh's work translates so easily in this media and format, confirming perhaps that he was truly ahead of his time. <laughs> 